Alrighty, looks like we have our first car in the shop, and this thing looks like a hunk of junk. What is up with the rust here, buddy? You need to be getting some other things fixed too, besides just the brakes. I was a little afraid that we were going to completely screw this up, but... Uh, I mean, I'm probably still going to screw something up here. But we're not going to talk about that. Oh! Oh, this car doesn't look like total garbage. Oh, never mind. It's all scratched up. Oh, and it's painted differently. Wow. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys my first impressions of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is something you guys wanted to see on the channel, and I was actually just sent a key for this. So we're going to check it out, maybe make a series out of it. I want to see how the game is first, and see how you guys react to it. But anyways, I've gone past some of the tutorial. It's kind of boring, it's a lot of text, a lot of learning how to work the game. So we're going to skip past that. And we're going to go right into the point where we start doing some actual work in our own shop. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, here we are, our little shop. And you know what, I'm actually really impressed by this game. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on. I remember playing the old car mechanic simulators and it was just pretty basic. Uh, I did have like a little test mode where you can drive the cars around and... I don't know, it was kind of wonky to me, but it seems like they fully upgraded this game. We'll be able to test out cars, go buy cars, go to auctions, barn finds. I think there's like a racetrack or something. I'm not 100% sure, but anyways, we're going to start out from humble beginnings. Now, the tutorial will actually put you in the fully upgraded shop, and that's kind of a shame because it shoots you back over here, and you're like, oh, all the toys, they're all gone. So I guess we need to go ahead and figure out what everything is. It looks like we have a... Uh, Oil drain over here, there's a toolbox, that's going to be our engine crane there. Uh, let's see, of course we all know this is a lift, so we got the lift here, another toolbox. I think the toolbox is where you do your upgrades for your player. So yeah, there's upgrades as you earn experience up here in the top right, so haven't really got around to that yet. Looks like we have a uh, wheel balancer over here and a tire changer over here. So. What we need to do, we need to go ahead and accept a job here, and let's see what we can get into. I do like that you can right-click now, and you don't have to actually go to the stations to receive jobs or do certain things. Uh, so we can go straight to orders here, and we have two orders. It looks like we have a brake system that needs to be fixed here, or needs fixing. And we have another brake system. Alright, so it's a brake system. We're doing that regardless. So... Let's see, uh, these look fairly similar as far as the parts condition. Uh, let's just go ahead and take this one here and see what it throws at us. Alrighty, looks like we have our first car in the shop, and this thing looks like a hunk of junk. What is up with the rust here, buddy? You need to be getting some other things fixed too besides just the brakes. But I guess brakes are pretty important. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and move this car right over to the lift. Uh, we can go ahead and do that by right clicking. And we go to move car. Of course, we only have one lift. Looks like you can have up to three. And of course, you got the other stations that you can eventually unlock. So let's move that over there. Uh, we are working on the brakes. So let's go ahead and lift this bad boy up. I think we actually have to click the button there. Click. There we go. All right. So we go to like an overview mode. And this reminds me a bit of a train mechanic simulator. I know it's kind of odd to say that. Since it's been a while since I played a car mechanic simulator game, I'm pretty sure this was in the last mode, or the last game, but I don't know. Uh, I can see red back there, so it looks like the caliper or the pad back, actually both rears look like they need to be changed. Uh, I'm not seeing any red here in the front, so it seems like it's a rear brake issue. Doesn't mean we can't be a good mechanic and actually check that out, but I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so... To take parts off, we go right into this little mode, it's like the uh, disassemble mode, and we click and hold here. This seems a bit easier than the last game where you had to do this. I'm not 100% sure, I could be completely wrong about that, but it seems like just scooting the tires off, uh, it's really fast, and you can make it faster with upgrades. So we're going to do that, let's go and get the tires off first, and then we'll go in and start to actually inspect the brakes. Alright, tires are off both the rears here, so let's go back into examine mode. So, it's the actual calipers themselves. I don't know if the pads are in bad shape. Uh, let's go ahead and take those off. Those should come off first, I believe. So yeah, there's a lot of detail in here. I was really kind of shocked when I first saw one of the cars open up, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. Alright, so yeah, we have parts added. Looks like the caliper was bad. 
Even though this brake disc looks terrible and it's really rusted, I think it's actually okay. Uh, we're gonna leave all that on, actually. Alright, so let's go over here. This actually is probably a simple job, so let's go back down here. Uh, let's go back into that examine mode. Yeah, it is the caliper for sure. It might also be the pad, too. Uh, they have a car status mode also that you can kind of check and see what needs to be done. Uh, we're going to take the pad off this side because it seems to be in bad shape, too, and that should just pop right off. So, we've got that. Uh, let's go into the car status mode here. Yeah, it's the two calipers and the pad. So, we need to order some parts, so we're going to go over to our trusty computer over here, which it looks extremely old, but... That's okay. We will eventually upgrade all this. So, uh, let's see, we've got a rim shop, main shop, body shop, interior, license, and tires. So, I guess the main shop here. Oh. Oh, boy, this is like a, an Amazon for car parts. Okay. Let's go ahead. I guess we can type in brake. Does this work? Oh, it actually works. Okay. So, we need a brake, caliper, and pads. So, we need two of these bad boys here. And we need one pad. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this instantly puts it in your inventory. There's no wait time, so let's go ahead and check that out. So, yeah, you can see we have the uh, the rim and tire off. Here's the brake calipers. Actually, these are some of the old ones. I believe we can sell these, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. And Oh, a dollar! Okay, and $13 there. There's a cylinder, and let's go ahead and sell these pads. All right, so... Make a little bit of money off the parts there, and I think we are ready to install. So to install, we're going to go right back down like we're in disassemble mode, and I believe we right-click and go to part mount. So, obviously the pad goes on first. Was this the one? Actually, yeah, this obviously is, this is the one with the bad pad. I was like, is this the one with the bad pad on it? And I didn't take the other one off, so. Uh, let's see, let's do that. Let's go ahead and put the new caliper on, and I guess we put that on top. And that should be it, all right. Ah, uh, those are nice. I don't understand, though, how the rest of this car got in such bad shape, and it's all completely rusted, so... It's, uh, a little bad, but... Oh, well. Uh, do we have to do the star pattern? I know, uh, normally you want to do the star pattern when you're putting tires on, but I, I guess it really doesn't matter in this game, so... There's that side. That side should be good to go. Let's go ahead and go over here, and... Uh, let's go back into mount mode and start to stick this stuff on, so there we go. No items to work with. What are you talking about? Did I... Don't tell me I sold the caliper. Did I sell it? Hold on. I thought I bought two. Maybe I didn't buy two. Alright. Uh, I did something there. That's kind of confusing. I could have swore I purchased two of those. Apparently we need one more, so... Yeah, I'm a little bit new to the game, as you can tell. No, we don't take orders. We need to order one more of the uh, calipers, but I thought I grabbed two. Maybe I didn't. Anyways, let's go ahead and get that on real quick. So, after you complete a job, you should earn experience, you should earn some cash. I think the experience is tied to the shop upgrades. I have to check, though, because that would be kind of weird. I'm pretty sure the cash needs to be used for that, too. Uh, but, yeah, let's do that. We can go back to car status. Our checklist looks good to go, so we finish the order, and boom! We made 40 wait, $43? That's it? That seemed like more work than $43. All right. Uh, I could have screwed something up. Maybe we did. I don't know. There's some, I'm a little concerned with what happened to the brake caliper. Uh, maybe I sold it or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's go back over to our orders and check. Looks like it's still all brakes. This one just says brake problems. So maybe that should be the one we take instead of the brake systems. Hopefully we get a little bit different job here. So this looks like the same car. Is this the same one that we just worked on? That'd be kind of embarrassing. He probably just drove down the street and the brakes exploded. Alright, so upon further inspection, this car does have quite a few issues here. The left side looks like it needs a caliper. Looks like there is something under the hood. And I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we'll have to check that out. And it looks like we need a caliper up here, I believe. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and move this thing over to the lift. So yeah, this will give us a, a little bit different job. We're going to pop that hood first and uh, see what is going on under here. Oh, it's an ABS module. Okay, so you got the module up here and the pumps back here. So we need to take the module off and it's six screws to get to the pump. And this pump looks absolutely terrible. So let's go ahead and unscrew these. Now, I would like to actually get to the licensed cars. I don't know if the default game has them. I know they do quite a bit of DLC for these games. 
but I'm kind of curious if the default game has some licensed cars in it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and close that up. And we're going to pop this up a little bit because we need to go change some more calipers. Now this is where I can picture the game not being for everybody. Uh, as far as it could be a little bit tedious, but stuff like this doesn't actually bother me. I I'm actually used to doing stuff like this as far as games. I played my summer car and that is about as tedious as it gets. Okay, upon further inspection of the brakes here, this is more than the caliper. It seems to be the brake disc is in bad shape too. So yeah, we're gonna need to take all this apart. So this is gonna be a little bit different. Here we go, take those, pull the pad, and I believe this just slides right off. So, we got all that pulled, and we've got another, I think it's, let's check which one it is. Oh, it's the uh, left rear right here. Okay, so, let's see what type of shape this thing is in here. But yeah, I'm going to try to skip around just a bit as far as you're not going to watch me change tires all video so I'll try to get to the a little bit more entertaining stuff for the stuff that we haven't seen yet so I'm gonna go ahead and inspect this and see what's wrong with it okay simple inspection just says that the uh, the brake pads are actually gone uh, we've got that you know what I think we'll be good I'm gonna leave I kind of want to take the uh, the disc off but you know what? we're not gonna do that because I feel like that might dig into our profit so let's see what we've got here obviously we need an ABS pump uh, we need another caliper, a brake disc that's ventilated, and is that it? Two calipers. Or one of these calipers might be actually old. Uh, let's make sure there. <laughs> let's go ahead and inspect my work again. So we're missing a caliper here and one here. I actually think we need two. So let's go ahead and check the status real quick one more time. Yeah, it's caliper, two calipers, pump, pads, ventilated, brake disc. All right, so let's go ahead and get to ordering here. All right, I'm gonna order two calipers this time. So make sure that actually appears. Got that, we need the brake disc that's ventilated. We need brake pads. And then we need an ABS pump. So let's go ABS and ABS pump, $950. Okay, that's expensive. All right, so we're gonna put the pump on first because I wanna see how that goes on. I believe it just slots right on. It's the module that goes on above it is really where you have to actually screw something in. So let's go to part mount. Let's go ahead, put this on here. Actually really close to it. All right, and we'll pop that in and we'll just put the module back on it. Now, I don't know if, if say the part is questionable. I guess it's only when it's in the red is when you need to replace it and kind of what the service list or the status shows. But it kind of feels like you should be doing these people some favors and actually replacing some more parts because some of these cars seem to be in pretty poor shape. So anyways, let's go over here. We're going to go ahead and assemble this side back and put some of the new parts on here. kind of feel like I'm going to look at that brake disc. Okay, that was only 58%. So that's actually not, not too bad. So we'll go ahead and we're going to stick that back on. I feel like I can get away with that. I, I don't know. I, I could be a shady mechanic and that could be completely wrong. <laughs> But we need to get away with as little cost as possible. If I learned anything from Train Mechanic Simulator and the old car mechanic simulators, the cost is everything. All right, so it's time to check the car status. We should be good to go now. That looks good. Brake problems are done. And boom. All right, so we're up about $500 from the last job. So let's go back to orders. Let's go ahead and take another one of these. I'd like to find something besides brake issues here. Somebody's got to need an oil change or some sort of, I don't know, uh, tire rotation, tires, new tires, anything. Uh, we're going to wait a couple seconds here and see what happens and see if it swaps the job out and we can get something different to show you guys. Okay, so after waiting a couple minutes, it seems like the only thing the game wants to give me right now are brake jobs. So we're going to take another brake order and see exactly what's wrong. Maybe we'll get something a bit different here. And Oh, oh, this car doesn't look like total garbage. Oh, never mind. It's all scratched up. Oh, and it's painted differently. Wow. This thing looks worse than the first one. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick overview. Ah, uh, this seems like the whole module's out. So you have the module and the ABS pump are both out. So we'll get to replace those. Looks like caliper on the rear and possibly one here on the front. So let's go ahead and move this real quick. Uh, let's move the car over to the lift. And I just heard the phone ring again, so don't tell me I got a, an order that's not. No, look, brakes. Brakes, brakes, and more brakes. Okay. You know, I'd like to change some tires occasionally, game. Let's go ahead and put this up on the lift here and see what's going on under it. 
we want to go ahead and actually, there we go, let's leave it about right there. Uh, this looks a bit different. Oh, actually, yeah, the ABS module's over just a little bit. The whole inside's rusted out, but whatever. Let's go ahead and take this off real quick. So yeah, we get to actually order both of these now and replace them. He actually just looks like he needs a new car, but we're not going to talk about that. And we'll just go ahead and do the work that he wants done. So let's go ahead and get that, rip the pump out, so that's good to go. A uh, good thing is we should get an upgrade as far as experience coming up very soon. Hopefully at the end of this job, so maybe that will vary it up a little bit. But looks like we have some major problems here on this tire. So let's go ahead and rip this one off real quick. Alright, so there is quite a bit of stuff that actually needs to be replaced here. We got the brake disc, uh, the ventilated one, an ABS module and pump, brake calipers. So I went ahead ordered all of that real quick. So we're going to try to get this done as fast as possible. And we'll check out the other jobs, and hopefully I've got something new here. So let's go ahead and mount this part. It's just a pump. This should slide right on. Kind of weird that that doesn't hook in somewhere, but I guess it doesn't have to. I don't know. I'm not really a car person, so I couldn't really tell you. But I see those hoses going in there. I'm assuming those are like brake lines, but yeah, I could be wrong about that. I better quit talking car. All right, so got the tires back on there real quick. Pretty easy fix. Let's go ahead and go to car status, and this one's good to go. So, payout-wise, uh, we're still floating around there. I'm losing money somehow, so let's go into our inventory real quick. We've got a lot of stuff we can go ahead and sell off, and oh, actually, some of this is worth quite a bit of money. So, let's go ahead and get rid of all of these parts. I have no active jobs, so I know I'm not selling somebody's good stuff. Uh, yeah, this is all pretty much crap. Those ABS pumps and modules are worth quite a bit, so let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. There we go. And I think we actually went up in level, so let's go over here to the toolbox real quick and see what we can do. So we got 50% faster screwing and unscrewing or 50% faster parts examination. I like the screwing and unscrewing, so let's unlock that upgrade there. So we should be more efficient. That's actually quite a bit. 50% is a big upgrade. So let's go ahead and check our orders, and what do we got here? <gasps> Ooh. Is this a new one? Okay, I read in the newspaper that the timing should be replaced more frequently by a recommended manufacturer, the Oil 2, so please check them out and change whatever is needed. Yes, they finally gave me something new! So, we are definitely going to take this order right here and see what we've got going on. I have no clue. Now I might be out of my uh, comfort zone with the brakes. And this kind of looks like a... Uh, I don't want to say what this looks like. It looks a little bit like a, one of the newer Ford Fusions or maybe like an Aston Martin. Uh, this looks like a little bit nicer car than what should be in my garage, but let's go ahead. Let's go to the overview real quick and... Oh, nothing's red. All right. Well, he said oil change and timing, so yeah. Let's go ahead and move this car real quick over to the car lift. I know, or at least I believe I know how the oil change works, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy up in the air real quick and we'll go ahead and see how that all goes. Okay, so we actually get to use this bad boy now. So this is the oil drain. So we're gonna move this over to the car lift and what does this look like under here? Oh, this is a lot nicer. All right, there's the oil filter it looks like. So how do we do this? We just click on it, use. Oh, all right, yep, that is pretty brown. That was actually, that was really quick. It seems like there should be more oil in there. All right, do we have to like replug that or is that it? Guess that's it. Uh, let's try using that again. No? All right, well, let's just move that back. That was actually a, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. I know there's something wrong timing-wise up here. And let's go ahead and look at the car status, see if it tells me. Part not discovered. So I have a feeling I need to tear apart or tear into the motor up there in the front. I don't even want to say the motor. I'm going to tear into the front and try to figure out what's going on. So let's go ahead and put this down here. Uh, let's pop the hood. Uh, something looks rusty there. Overview. I'm not seeing it. Um, yeah, this is weird. Let's go ahead and uh, do the oil real quick. Actually, let's, uh, let's grab this first. Okay, so that's showing empty, so you can actually look at the dipstick. All right, let's go ahead and put the plug, or actually, let's unplug it and fill it with oil. How do we know when it's done? Uh, you know, let's stop there real quick. There's no done. I guess we have to actually check the dipstick here. And uh, I could use just a hair more. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more oil in it. There we go. There we go. That should be fine. All right, so that's good. All right. 
now it's going to be a question of figuring out what's actually wrong with this. I can see the alternator is down there. Uh, let's see the engine ignition coils. All right, let's. Uh, I think we have some examination, or actually have some. Uh, yeah, examination or examine tools. Uh, how do we? Do I need to buy these, or let's see what I need to do here because I'm a bit confused. All right, so upon further examination, it seems like the ignition coils are bad. Uh, or at least they're not in very good shape. I'm kind of looking around to see if I see anything else that might be rusty. <laughs> I'm not a car person, so I have no clue what I'm doing now. I feel like I might have bitten off more than I can chew. So, let's see what it says under car status. So, it, the ignition coils were a part of the problem. So, I'm going to need to figure out... I know there's like testing uh, examination tools, but I don't have any of that unlocked yet. So, this is kind of doing it all manually... And that might have been a mistake here, but I'm going to continue to dig around in the motor here and see if I can figure out exactly what's wrong. It does look like there might be a couple more parts that could be rusty. All right, so we're up here in the top. I want to check maybe, is, are these spark plugs down here? This could actually be a part of the problem. I feel like this is simple, and this might be something that I'm overlooking. So if you guys have any suggestions for what I'm doing, and, oh, that's rusty. All right, well, yeah, this looks like... Could be an issue. It's going to remove. How do we remove the camshaft here? Uh, okay, we need to go ahead and do that. What about the uh, spark plugs? What do those look like? Those are at 90%, so that's obviously probably not the problem. But the camshaft itself, which would make sense to timing, that's bad. But I think we need to remove the timing cover belt over here. I believe, but <laughs> there's probably parts on top of that that need to be removed. So we've got the uh, the engine head cover off, and we're going to go ahead and dive into the side here. Something in here looks actually rusted, too, on the inside of this. So it feels like there's a lot of stuff we need to remove. i got to figure out what I need to remove first to get this all in order. It could also be the belts here. They look like they're in rough shape, too. All right, so we're down here working with the actual belts. I need to get some of this off to be able to figure out what the heck I'm doing, which I still don't really know what I'm doing here, but we're going to take everything apart and we'll reassemble it, but I feel like we're slowly but surely finding some of the parts. Uh, let's see, what goes next? Uh, can I take the belt off? Okay, so the belt comes off. I need to get this timing cover off, and it seems like all this down here, like the pulleys, uh, need to come off before I can do this. So let's go ahead and mount all this over here. There we go, and the I, the roller. Let's go ahead and take this off, too. So can I take the timing cover off? All right, here we go. And I should be able to remove the camshaft from here now, I think. Could be wrong about this. I'm learning a little bit each day now. So it seems like the timing belt needs to come off. Obviously, that might be an issue. And the gear and the actual shaft itself needs to come out. So this might actually be all the parts. Uh, it's going to be a big order. But, let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and check car status. We found it all! Okay, that is a miracle! So, we need four ignition cools, two cam gears, and two cam shaft. Alright, so that's gonna be a big order. Wow. I am so glad. I, I know there's probably an easier way, if, and if there is, please comment below, but... I'm kinda glad I was able to take that apart and figure out what the heck was going on. So, we're gonna type in cam over here. And, let's see, cam Oh, dear. Okay, so I think it's just a normal cam gear. There's a lot of different sizes. Okay. That is good to know. So I'm going to go back and look at that status list one more time just to make sure I'm going to order the right parts the first time because I don't have that much money to play around with. So let me go back and look at those and we'll come back and order these parts. All right, so everything seems to be the standard model or the standard cam gear, camshaft. So we need two cam gears here. Uh, we need two cam shafts, so we're going to order two of those. We also need four ignition coils, so let's go ahead and just type in IG here. Ignition coils, we need four of those. There we go, and I believe that is going to be it. If there's anything else, we can always go order that. So let's go back to the engine over here. Let's look at the car status one more time. Camshaft, cam gear, ignition coils. Yeah, we've got it all. So here comes the fun part, putting all this back together. I think I remember which order. Actually, it's going to kind of tell us here. So, we're going to put the new camshaft in. I'm going to see how much money we're going to make off this. It better be a whole lot. There we go. There's that. Okay, so we got those. We're going to go move to the gears. Go ahead and throw new gears on. And 
we got another one right here that we're going to toss on. Okay, so we got those on. I think the belt, the timing belt, goes next. That's uh, good there. Then I want to say the timing belt cover comes on. So we got that. We got four screws. One, two, three, and four down here. This is actually really neat. I'm enjoying this now. I was a little afraid that we were going to completely screw this up, but... Uh, I mean, I'm probably still going to screw something up here. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to go ahead and put all this back on, and we'll put the belts back on. So, there goes this. And let's go ahead and put the serpentine belt on. And there should be a... There it is, a ten tensioner. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. All right, let's put that on there. I think... Don't we have another belt here? Maybe not. All right, let's go ahead and put that... Uh, Actually, the head cover, does that need to go on? Yeah, that goes on next. Then we'll put the ignition coils in. So let's put this in. Quite a few screws right here. So we're up to $5,000. I'm kind of curious as to how much this job's going to pay once it's all said and done. Plus the parts that we have, which I'm pretty sure we're going to make a bit of money off of those too. So these coils just pop right in. There we go. All right, got all those in. Uh, let's see what it says here. Car status. It looks good. All right, close the hood. Oh boy. All right, let's finish this order. Uh, oh, the car is complete. There are zero missing from car. What is what does zero mean? Did I miss a belt or something? Oh, why did I pull that off? All right, let's look at my inventory real quick. What do I have that I shouldn't have? The serpentine belt, I think. And of course, I have the hood now. But yeah, I have an extra belt here. Okay. Obviously, I put, I'm put i missing a belt down here somewhere, and it's probably right there. Okay. All right, so we, we barely screwed that up. I told you guys we were going to screw something up, but that wasn't too bad. So let's go ahead, and we need to stick this hood back on as soon as I figure out how to do that. There we go. So let's pop that back on. Now let's finish the job. All right, so finish job. Boom. That was quite a bit of money, actually. Heck, and we almost leveled up again. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and just check the computer one more time, and we're going to wrap this episode up here. So let's go to the orders. Yeah, it seems like the rest of these are going to be break uh, systems. But anyways, guys, let me know if you want this made into a series. We might do more of these episodes. I might play a little bit in between episodes to kind of progress it a little bit instead of just doing break jobs and a lot of stuff like that. Uh, maybe try to get some more upgrades. But we're really close to going up in a level... So we'll be able to actually do some more stuff, and we'll soon get a shop upgrade too. So anyways, let's go ahead and wrap this up. The last thing I wanted to show you guys here is the main gate, just to kind of show you guys what we're looking at here. Uh, this is our garage here. We've got parking. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's where we can park some of our rides after we bomb. There's a junkyard down here. These are not actually unlocked. And a car salon that's not unlocked. Uh, actually, all this is basically locked right now. So I'm assuming we'll unlock more of this as we level up. Uh, there's a little test track over here. You can go run the cars around. Uh, surprisingly, the driving model's quite a bit better than the old games. At least it didn't feel too bad with the uh, WASD. So that could be fun driving around a bit. But anyways, I'm kind of sad we didn't get to do any sort of tire jobs. But the timing job made up for that. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. If you have any uh, suggestions for uh, this series or for this game let me know if there's anything you see that i'm doing wrong of course i'm still quite new to this but yeah hope you guys have a great day and we will see you guys next time in car mechanics simulator 2018 thank you